what's up guys this is john spear warhammer hope you guys are having a great day today i'm going to be going over how to do a four point saddle it's one of the more complex bends in the electrical field but my belief is if you understand the process it's not so daunting so let's just jump right into it so if you really break it up into what it really is it's literally two offsets right and whether you do 30 degree 45 you know that's 10 degree whatever you guys want you know but in reality it's literally just two offsets okay so that's how i'm going to kind of throw this out there and we'll learn that process one by one so what you got to know is there are steps to it so you do it in order, one, two, three, four. So this is the beginning of your pipe run, and this is the end. This is the process you'll do it, one, two, three, and four. All right, so to get these measurements, what you're gonna have to do is for the first measurement you're gonna have to go to the beginning of the run okay let's just say for whatever sake it's 16 inches away okay so we'll go to the beginning of, of the run to the beginning or the edge of your obstruction and then you're gonna add the shrink so in this particular class we're gonna do 30 degrees which the shrink is 3 16th, okay? So you add 3 16th for every inch of your obstruction. So if it is a two inch obstruction, which in this case it will be, if it's a two inch obstruction, you times that by two sixteenths, or 3 16th, which comes out to 3 8 so how you do that, if you look over here, it's gonna be two inches. So two times three sixteenths equals six sixteenths. When you break that down and reduce it, it's gonna be three eighths. Because you basically divide that, that can be divided into two, three eighths, okay? So 16 inches away plus our shrink is gonna get you 16 and 3 eighths inches. So that's going to be your first mark. Your second mark is going to be the height of the obstruction times 2. And I'm doing 2 because we're doing 30 degree bends. That particular one will change. You can check out the description below for different types of shrinkage or heights. So, so in this case, we're times it by two because 30 degrees, my mind is like the best offset ever because, you know, it's just simple to remember, times it by two, good to go. So the height of our obstruction is gonna be two inches, times that by two, it's gonna be four inches. So from one to two, we're gonna have four inches, okay? So number three is gonna be the overall length of the object, okay? So in this particular case, it's five and a half inches. So from point one to point three, we're doing five and a half inches. And then to get the fourth one, you're basically gonna redo step two which is the height times two okay so our height is two inches we times it by two equals four so four inches right there is where we're gonna be okay so I think I kind of went over how we're gonna do it so let's get some pipe and some some measurements and we'll go from there. 
All right, so what you're gonna need to accomplish this, it's gonna be a tape measure. If you're new to the trade, the climb tool is pretty slick. Just on a side note, I don't know if you can see, but it gives you conduit bending, uh, multipliers and shrinkage and the whole nine yards. It's printed on both sides of the tape. It's got a heavy duty little magnet deal. So just, if you're new to the trade, you know, this isn't too bad for the more seasons guys. I uh, suggest the Lufkin because those things are, in my opinion, those things are legit. All right, so we'll start going through this one by one. So 16 inches. So we'll do our mark, mark A or one, do one. So it's gonna be 16 inches plus our shrink ridge, which was three eighths. So we'll do that and three eighths, okay? So this is, let's just say this one is number one. Okay, and I'm just writing that for you guys. So the height of our construction is gonna be four inches. So we're gonna go backwards four inches. Okay, so we'll do that. So this is number two. And then the length of our construction, which was gonna be from one to three, which was five and a half. That's what that'll be right there. So that's three. And then once again, the height of the extrusion times two, since we're doing 30 degree bends, which is four. So four inches from three to four. Okay. So now that we got our measurements, one, two, three, and four, We'll start marking them up. You know, I'm just gonna do this for you guys. So it's nice to, you know, mark it all the way across so you know what's going on. You know, once you start getting used to it, it gets easier and you don't have to do these crazy markings. But when you're new, you know, it just feel free to mark it all the way across so you know what's going on. You don't lose your place, you don't dog leg it. You know, so now we have all our markings ready to go. One, two, three, four. And like I said, it's two separate bands, you know, two separate offsets. And you do it, you know, back to back. So it works out good. So let's do this. So the first bend is basically the end of the pipe is going to be pointed at you. So the, the two should be closest to your body. So the second, the second point or the second measurement should be closest to your body. Okay. So, well, oops. Let me see that I can lower this for you guys so you can see a little bit better. So I'm gonna do everything overhead. Um, it's just what I'm personally comfortable with. So you can do this on the floor. You know, doesn't make a bit of difference one way or the other, but we'll just do this. So my first bend is gonna be 30 degrees and they're all gonna be 30 degrees. So we'll do that, that looks pretty close. And then we're gonna flip it around, do the second bend or the second point, okay? I'm gonna do that little guy, I'm gonna eyeball it, you know. Um, you know, you can get those little levels that have the, whatever you wanna call it on it, but little dog leg protector, but 
you know, I've been doing this for a little bit, so you can kind of eyeball it. So then we'll do this one at 30. Okay. So, same process, just reverse. You're gonna now put the, the four at your back now, okay? So you do the third one first, and number four is gonna be closest to your body. So you have to literally flip it all the way around. We'll do that. We'll check our stuff stood right there. All right. And that looks pretty cherry. And then we're going to flip it all the way, 180. Do a little eyeball test real quick. Boom. And we're gonna go to the 30 mark. And you gotta love the 30s because it's just times two, you know, so it's the easiest thing to remember. You know, if you don't have a lot of space though, 45 works really good, you know, so that's just kind of the, the little deal there. So if you look at it, Exactly what you gotta do. That's the only thing about overhead is you gotta gotta give it some love in every once in a while. That looks pretty good. So I'll set that down. We'll double check our measurements. So I'm gonna flip the camera. Hold on. So as you can see, this was our obstruction. The two inch five and a half long bad boy so we put the construction at 16 inches exactly and as you can see it went over it flawlessly no problems um you know once again my name is john spear i'm with warhammer you know, let me get you guys a close up of the steps. You know, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I hope you learned something. Just remember, this is a simple process once you know the process. So remember, you break it down into two separate things. And then when you got on your bender, the two is going to be closest to your body, and when you work on this set, the four is going to be closest to your body. You know, definitely check the description for shrinks. This is Learning Moments by Warhammer. Um, you know, the shrink on an offset is 3 16 for every one inch. On a 30 degree bend, I will put the others on the little deal. This is kind of how we broke it down. Just to recap everything, so two inches on the object equals two or six sixteenths. And divide that by two, you know, because you can divide it by two because they're both even numbers. Get you three eighths. And that's how you got your shrink. So 16 inches was our whatever, our the beginning of our pipe to the beginning of the extraction plus the three sixteenths which equaled the three eighths which we did over there 16 and three eighths is how we got that measurement the height of the extraction for step two so two inches times two equals four the length of the extraction which was between one and three. And then just the step two reversed. So from three to four, 
we do step two again. Well, once again, my name is John Spear. Please like, subscribe, share this video. I hope it helped, you know. Um, if you guys have any video suggestions that you guys would like to learn, please let me know. I'd be happy to help. Thank you again.